Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, as you can see in the title of this video, a Zelda fan has suffered because they didn't listen to Nintendo and right now I know they are mad at themselves because all of this could have been avoided and I'm pretty sure that Link is looking at them like, hey man, you spent all these rupees and this was the outcome? Come on man. Now, for those of you who don't know, a fan has ruined their Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED and this thing is going viral for the reasons why. Now, it's being reported by ScreenRat.com as you can see in the title, one Nintendo Switch user found out the hard way how to not clean their console. The fan, who goes by the name of Alexandria3142 on Reddit, posted this. PSA, don't clean your Switch with designs with rubbing alcohol and they posted this picture and clearly they ruined their Zelda themed Switch. Most of the designs on the back are gone and this is very unfortunate. They did give a reason why this all happened or how it all happened and here it is. We use 91% rubbing alcohol to clean all of our electronics and have never had an issue before. Didn't expect them to completely take off the design, they commented. We're currently in mourning and debating on buying another Tears of the Kingdom Switch just for the backplate, unless someone knows where to buy a replacement one with this design. While cleaning consoles is necessary for upkeep, the comments provided some much needed clarification on what's actually safe to use on the Switch. And hey, shout outs to everybody who gave them advice, but look, Nintendo has a Nintendo support page that tells you what to use on your Switch while you're cleaning it, whether it's your Joy-Cons, controllers, what have you, and here it is. Cleaning and disinfecting Nintendo Switch console, Joy-Con controllers, and accessories. And they go on to say that this is very important. Before cleaning or disinfecting, verify that the console is powered off and that all accessories are unplugged. Please do not pour liquids directly on the product. Do not submerge the product in water or other liquids. After cleaning or disinfecting, please ensure the product is completely dry before using. And here's exactly what you need to do. If you need to clean your products, dampen a soft clean cloth with water. Wring it out to remove excess water, then gently wipe the product. Also, if you need to disinfect your product, lightly apply a consumer grade disinfectant containing about 70% alcohol to a soft clean cloth and gently wipe the product. And that last part is where Alexandria went wrong because they used 91% rubbing alcohol instead of 70% so it was too strong for the designs on the back of that console and that's what rubbed it off. Like I said before, this is very unfortunate because I know they spent their hard earned money buying this console and depending on when they bought it, they probably had to overcome some scalpers and things like this to buy it online and things like that. But yeah, man, this is very unfortunate. Hopefully they could get their hands on another one to replace this one because this one is completely ruined. And look, all of this could have been avoided if they would have read the instruction manual before trying to clean this with that 91% alcohol. And hey, I am in no way trying to condemn this person because when I buy certain electronics or accessories, I don't read the instruction manuals too. So yeah, we're all guilty of this. I'm pretty sure we are. But sometimes we do have to read these instruction manuals or at least look up a YouTube video or something like that just to take precautions to make sure that we don't ruin what we invested in. So hey man, with that being said guys, that's going to do it for this video and please make sure to like this video, share this video and if you're not already subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Nintendo news content and as always remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock where here we focus on Nintendo news content Around the Clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.